Okay, well, 3 to what power gives me 81? I think it's 3 to the 4th, because 3 times 3 is 9, times 3 is 27, times another 3 actually is 81. So log base 3 of 81 equals 4. I hope you're getting into the habit of seeing this sort of like a backwards thing. I'm thinking of the exponent that I have to raise a number to in order to make it something else. We used to say, what's 3 to the 4th? And you would say, 81. Now I'm saying, what's, what power of 3 do I have to put in there to make it equal 81? And you've got to say, the 4th. That's what a log is. All right, now they're going to get harder. Sorry, 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 sorry. How about this one? Log base 4 of the cubed root of 4 all divided by 2. <laughs> I don't even know if I should make this interactive or not. I think this is really, in fact, I'm not even, I'll just do this one for you because this is just way too tricky, I think. You've got to see this once and then you can do them all. Uh, I look at this and, and, and after my initial panic mode, um, what I try to do is see if I can write this just in terms of, of fours. And I can if I am careful, because I could write this in the following way. I could say, well, um, in fact, let me, just, let me just focus for a second on just this term in here. So let me just focus on that for a second. Cube root of 4 over 2. Let me cover this up so you don't even think about the other thing. Just the cube root of 4 all divided by 2. I want to make everything look with 4's in it because I'm taking this thing with respect to uh, a base of 4. Well, 2 I could write as 4 by doing the following. That's just the square root of 4. The square root of 4 is 2. Ah, but now I could write this as 4 to the 1 third power divided by 4 to the 1 half power, changing all the the um, roots to exponents. And then remember that the laws of exponents work in the following way. If I have the same bottom, but I have, I'm taking quotients, then I subtract the exponents. So this actually equals 4 raised to the 1 third minus 1 half power, which equals 4 to what power is that? Well, if you're careful with the combining the common terms and putting it over 6, you'll see 2 minus 3, which is a minus 1 sixth. So in fact, after all is said and done, I see that this thing right here, which I remind you appears right here, that equals 4 to the minus 1 sixth. So this actually is just log base 4 of 4 to the minus 1 sixth. Well, now this problem is actually a lot easier. In fact, I'll make this problem now interactive. See if you can now figure out what number this should be. Try it now. Remember, I'm taking log base 4 of 4 to the minus 1 sixth. Give it a shot.